So we talked about the roots. So now we have a standard formula for finding the roots of a quadratic equation. I did mention there is a formula for which you need to know what a, b and c very very clearly are. And the roots of the quadratic equation are given in terms of the coefficients of the x square, x and the last term. So x if you see is going to be minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. <clears throat> now, how do we apply this particular formula? Let's get back to the equation we did. x square minus x minus 6 is 0. Now compare this with ax square plus bx plus c is 0. So if you compare here, a turns out to be 1, b turns out to be minus 1 and c turns out to be minus 6. Now this term b square minus 4ac is the one that is going to decide the nature of the roots. It's called, we didn't get the symbol delta, it is also called discriminant. Now let's calculate b square minus 4ac. b square minus 4ac is going to be minus 1 square. We have to be very careful about the signs. Minus 4ac minus 4 into 1 into c which is minus 6 so minus 1 square is 1 minus 4 into minus 6 will turn out to be 24 and we get 25 so x would be minus b which is minus of minus 1 plus or minus root 25 which is b square minus 4ac upon 2a that is 2 into 1 which would mean that x is 1 plus or minus 5 by 2 which means it is 1 plus 5 by 2 or 1 minus 5 by 2 which is the same as 6 by 2 that is 3 or minus 4 by 2 which is minus 2. So the roots in this case are 3 and minus 2 in other words alpha is 3 and beta is minus 2. So the same equation which you did by splitting the middle term and factorization we have done by using the formula. So one of the roots is minus b plus root b square minus 4ac by 2a and the other root is minus b minus root b square minus 4ac. So individually minus b this and this remain the same. But the sign in between are opposite. So one root is obtained by adding these terms. The other one root is obtained by subtracting the same terms. So this is how we can apply this particular formula in a simple manner. We will be also understanding more about how do we use this.